Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. This is another episode of Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about combining two pictures to give it that effect of somebody sitting there thinking about uh, what happened earlier in the day or earlier in life or somebody um, uh, that passed away. Um, I did receive this email from Wilda. Wilda, thank you very much for the email and the uh, very uh, nice idea. And I um, feel very uh, sorry for your loss of your son. But I think I'm going to help you out here. Uh, Wilda's just basically asking, um, she wants to use a picture of, uh, of her son's daughter and kind of put him in the background um, just so it's uh, faintly there. And I think I have a, uh, a solution for you. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to select two pictures to use. Um, we are going to select, uh, let's see here. I had a couple ideas. Actually, this one. And we are going to take that one. And we are going to uh, kind of merge it with the uh, group photo here. Uh, let's see here. That might be a little too busy. You got to watch how much background like it's in these pictures here. So I kind of had another idea. Um, we'll use. I was thinking maybe of a softball picture. Where it would look like uh, this girl is remembering uh, her time of playing softball. So we are going to find one here of her. Uh, let's see. Let's grab one of these pictures here. We're just going to use this one right here. So I select them both by holding down my control key. I right click and I'm going to open up in the editor. Yeah, we have them both open at this point. Now what we need to do is we need to have this one open. This is going to be our main picture. And what we're going to do is down here in the bin, if you can see the bin here at the bottom, we're going to simply click on the second picture and drag it up and drop it on to the first picture. There we go. So now we have that drug up and it's on top of the first picture. Now what we need to do though is we're going to need to resize this picture. So let's resize it down. Notice I'm using the corner here because what's happening is it's retaining the proportions of the picture. We'll pull it down. We'll pull it up here so she looks like she's uh, thinking about it. I can uh, maybe spin this just a little bit. And then simply click the checkbox. Once we have it checked, then what we can do is actually lower down the opacity of this picture to make it almost look like it's a remembrance. Just pull this down just a little bit. You can really fade it down. And uh, well, this would be the same way you would do this. You would have this as the background picture and you can actually fade the background out. But be careful here when you fade the background what's going to happen is, let me just show you how that works. If I double click this, it's locked right now. So I'm going to double click it, unlock it. Now if I take that and start fading the background, watch what happens. There's nothing behind it. So when you fade it down or drop its opacity, you're looking through it and there's actually nothing behind it. It's just a, black, uh, a blank background. So what you'd have to do at that point, if you wanted the background picture to be blurred down, add a new layer, pull it below this layer so there's something behind the picture. That's how layers work. Let's go ahead, it's already selected, so we're going to color it blue. Now you see it's colored blue. Now when we take this and we start to lower the opacity, you can see now that there's a blue tint behind it. So at that point you can have your, uh, your granddaughter sitting in the front uh, with your son's picture in the back. Blur it down a little bit. You're just going to blur it out a little bit. And uh, make sure you create a new layer for a background. So you see if something behind the picture, 
And this could be any color at all. We can uh, easily take this and change it maybe to black. And uh, paint bucket there and we'll just repaint it. Now it's black. Uh, so it might even be a better effect for you if it's a, a darker color. And you can bring it up and lower it down as much as you want. So that is how you combine two pictures to actually create uh, that effect of remembering. And I think that's what I, uh, I'll call this picture uh, for Wildo, uh, Wilda. I think we're going to name this um, actual uh, video Remembering. Um, so thank you very much again for the suggestion. Once again, I'm very sorry for your loss. And um, the best to you and your family. And the best to everybody else out there. If you haven't yet seen it, go to my website, jackstechcorner.com, and check out all the DVD selections there. It's jackstechcorner.com, and I also have my book I released on there a couple years ago, uh, Using Computers for the Everyday Person. So, go ahead and check out that book also. It's very inexpensive, and you can pick up your copy of that today also. Until next time, take care. The best of everybody. If you have any suggestions or ideas, please email those to me at Jack's Tech Corner at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you back here next time. So long.